This is the A Free Spirit Life podcast. A Free Spirit Life invites you to experience true inner peace, live more inspired, and share your gifts with the world. Explore our services and shop online at afreespiritlife.com. Thanks for being here. Hey everybody, it's Shannon. I'm a holistic life and spiritual coach, yoga and meditation teacher and artist, and a boy mom for life. And I am here today returning after a little break to catch up with you. I want to share something, just hopefully this is inspiring for you as you are experiencing change in your life. The last show that I recorded was all about new beginnings. We were exiting winter. We're going into this time of planting new seeds, right? We're emerging from being within and going out into the world and deciding what we no longer want to deal with anymore, what we no longer need in our lives. You know, whether it's physical clutter, whether it's old self-sabotaging thoughts, whether it's toxic people or food or experiences, whatever it is, this is the time in your life to purge. You know, that's why we get this desire to spring clean, to, to let out the old, to dust, to just get rid of and renew, refresh. And so I had recently come off of a, a retreat, which was amazing, and it set me up for this uh, amazing momentum that I'm now experiencing after um, taking some new direction. You know, when you go on a retreat like I have been doing consistently, I get this time to step out of my every day-to-day stresses and overwhelm and the responsibilities that just weigh me down or um, not even weigh me down, but just take up my time, right? Um, I'm constantly thinking of the needs of my children, uh, the needs of our family, the, the needs of my business, the needs of the women I coach. There's just constant other things and other people in my mind. And so when I go on retreat and I get a break from all responsibility like someone's there to cook for me and someone's there who you know got the room ready for me there's no cleaning there's no piles to organize there's nothing except resting and relaxing and doing what I love most which is chatting with new friends and walking in nature and drinking hot coffee out on the deck and soaking in the sunshine and journaling and art and yoga and meditation and massage and just returning (laughs) to my true self. And when I do that, I start to see where I keep myself busy, where I keep myself stuck, where I get in my own way, where the patterns and the thoughts and the behaviors uh, keep me either small or stuck or paralyzed with fear or comfortable. And so these experiences of taking time, to reconnect to your heart. Now, it doesn't have to be a full four-day retreat. It can be, and it should be really, in our day-to-day existence. Integrating soul and self-care, quiet time, reflection, introspection, stillness in our day-to-day life. Now, that can be a morning ritual. It can be an evening ritual. It could be an afternoon break. We can talk about tools another time or listen to my other episodes, but what I'm talking about today is this notion that when we reconnect and we hear and feel our hearts and our intuition and source, we learn that where we are in this journey, on this path, one is right where we need to be to evolve, to grow, to elevate. And so every challenge we're faced with, we can see it in a new light as an opportunity to heal and to grow. And then we can also see that there are things, thoughts, behaviors, people, experiences that we outgrow. And if we feel like we're shrinking in some way or we have to keep our voice um, 
quiet or we have to alter our authentic self in some way, then we know we are being faced with a challenge to be vulnerable, to be brave, to be bold. And when we can be that, when we can find the courage to speak up, to be ourselves, to make change happen, to let things or people go, even the ones we feel identified with or attached to, right? Some fear can come up there, but it is freeing because that's where the real change happens. And so remember that in your own life, that change is up to you. So often we keep ourselves small, we shrink, we stay comfortable simply because we're afraid. And so my question to you today is, what are you afraid of? If you take a change, if you take a chance, if you be bold, if you be brave, even little step like signing up for a class you've always thought of or posting a blog post for the first time or uh, calling a new friend or enrolling in school or starting a business or on and on and on, whatever it is that you're dreaming of that you know you need to do, the change that needs to happen in your life, what is that? What's keeping you from doing it? And so often what I learn from going on retreat is a lot of times it's the clutter, it's the busyness, it's the distractions that keep me from moving forward. And my quest for you listening is to help you break free of the limitate, limitating, limitating, is that a word? <laughs> Elevating <laughs> limitations, limitating. I don't know. That sounds weird to me, but I'm going to keep it. Um, the limiting, the limiting thoughts, the limiting beliefs, the limiting actions or non-action that keeps you in a place of comfort, but in a place of not changing, not healing, not growing. And so I want to remind you that as you're planting new seeds, remember the most important piece is tending the soil. The seeds can never take root if the soil isn't healthy. So in your own life, what is your inner life looking like? Do you tend to your soul and self-care? Because a lot of times what happens is we push that off the list because we have this, 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 and this to do that are more tangible, more productive. Um, It proves to us that we're doing something. We can check it off a list, right? And when we're feeling good, it's easy to slip and let our self-care go. But what happens over time? Maybe we have a health scare. Maybe our adrenals start speaking at us. Maybe we're just purely exhausted. Maybe we start being more irritable with people. Maybe we start gaining weight. Um, Our life starts to feel really out of balance. Maybe it's affecting our sleep now. There are things in our life that are here to teach us. And we need to learn how to make connections between our mind, between our body, between our spirit. And we do that by finding a slower pace, by making space for self-care, by taking time to look within, to become an observer and explorer of your inner life. That is tending the soil of your life. Nothing can grow and really be sustainable if your inner foundation is a huge giant mess of clutter and old thoughts and toxic beliefs and unhealthy relationships and on and on and on. You get it? So if you are, uh, if you can visualize this with me, that um, you have a garden, you've planted the seeds, you've watered the seeds, you've fertilized the soil, you have sunshine going on it, you know that those seeds are taking root, but it takes time. So be patient. If you can't see growth in your life, know that it's happening. Trust that it's happening, especially if you're taking care of it, if you're taking care of you and your needs, right? Because the seeds eventually, when they're taken care of, will start to sprout. 
then you have to continue tending, tending, waiting, tending, waiting. We cannot pull a flower out of the soil. We can't pull and make something grow faster than it's ready to. And that's the same in your own life. And so going back to what I've been experiencing lately in my own life, wow. All I can say is I have been planting seeds and then I've been tilling the garden and then I'm pulling those seeds out like, nope, not that. And then I'm planting more seeds and I'm going over here and then I'm going over there and I'm going over there. And eventually though, there are some seeds that are consistent, that are constant, that I go back to even when I feel like a failure, even when I lay on the ground crying and I think I'm giving up, I can't do this anymore. I've been tending. And what happens And what I'm really seeing now is growth is powerful. There are new blooms in my garden and I have to continue being very mindful and intentional in my day because what happens is people want want to pull you this way. People want to pull you that way. People want to pull you this way and that way. And we can lose sight of the garden that we want to grow. And those weeds can sprout up and um, and other invasive plants can come and try to take over. And what happens to a garden when that happens? All those beautiful blooms start to wither, start to die. The garden is consumed, right? And that is you. You are a gardener. (laughs) And I don't even garden. So if if you don't garden, I hope this still speaks to you because you are a gardener, a gardener of your life. I like to say that you are an artist of your life. Your life is your art, your landscape, your garden. What do you want to grow? What do you want to manifest? What do you want your life to look like? What are you tending to? Where do you put your energy? What's pulling you and taking you away from tending the garden? Remember, remember this. That when you've planted the seeds, when you've tended the garden and you still feel like there's no growth happening, be patient. Be patient, wait, trust, allow, because you, my friend, are on the verge of something beautiful. You are on the verge of new growth, new potential, new abundance. It's there, but remember, sometimes we can't see it. We can't see it until it starts to sprout. Then it's your job to decide which flower you're going to tend. But don't pull up those seeds uh, before they're ready and don't give up. Don't give up on that garden. Keep watering. Shine that sunshine. Shine your light in your life and in the world. We need you. Don't give up. Consistent, slow and steady. Keep taking care and tending and see what happens. I want to hear from you. If you have some new changes happening in your own life, if you have some seeds sprouting and you've been tending the garden and you can see some huge momentum, share with me. I want to hear from you. You can email me, Shannon, at afreespiritlife.com or you can join our A Free Spirit Life community Facebook group. Find me on Instagram at A Free Spirit Life. And of course, I am a life coach. And if you want to work with me, you can check out my website, afreespiritlife.com. I have one spot left in my fall retreats. They're all selling out. And um, I would love for you to join me. And I also have three new eye pillow designs that will be added to the website very soon. So check those out as well. Be well, my friend. Keep taking good care of you. And I will see you next time. Cause tomorrow they